Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is RNL back with another video and today we are gonna take a look at Global Maple Story Summer Update everybody Maple Story Adventure Update or you can also call it Pathfinder Update So in this video as you all know I'll be doing all these all you need to know videos Today we're gonna have all you need to know about Global Maple Story Adventure Update So I'm gonna cover all this update alright including the updates that are not listed over here so um because the update is being split into two parts in gms right first part is on june 12th the second part is on july 21st so the july 21st content is basically not here yet in this microsite right oh yeah if you guys want to know more in the video description there will be links right don't worry about it i will link everything over there and also we'll be taking a look at um the patch that is on july 21st in this video also so first of all, without further ado, let's get it on with all you need to know about this update, everybody. Prepare for the adventure of your life as the new class, Pathfinder, arrives in Naplewood. Hell yeah. This update brings tons of thrilling events including the return of Terra Burning Project, oh my man, and fun-filled Adventure Island with addition of system revamps and a new theme dungeon you'll find lots to explore. Very nice indeed. So the most anticipated class has arrived, everybody. The new class, Pathfinder, right? Is a bowman adventurer or an explorer, all right? So um, and enchanted by ancient relics, Pathfinder is an inquisitive bowman whose curiosity leads her to acquire an ancient curse. So this is the backstory, right? As the curse affects her abilities, it also enables her with ancient powers to use in her skill set. The Nimble Pathfinder uses an ancient bow, a new weapon that you guys can basically get after the adventure update, right? After you guys update it. And a relic to attack enemies from afar. And links her skills to charge up and relic gouge, right? The gouge was similar with... I would say Kaiser is also similar with Kaiser, but it doesn't transform like Kaiser. Uh, it acts as a uh, basically a usage or a mana usage to use ancient and enchant uh, force skills, right? Uh, we'll take a look at that later on. Don't worry about that. I'll cover that. She also can charge the emblem of her relay with variety of combat results. We took a little part final uh, more in the later one. Next up, Terra Burning Project, everybody. Hell yeah. Terra Burning Project is back, everybody. So uh, new players, returning players, or even current players who are working on um, their Legion, right? Returning players wanted to play a new class, right? You can basically go on with the Terra Burning Project. Level 1 to 200 with 1 plus 2, basically 3 levels per level, right? Accept the reward quest, and this time they give you a permanent endgame starter gear, my man. What is it? Is a basically a CRA set. CRA is a um is a Chaos Root Abyss Ball set. It's very, very good, I can tell you that, right? Very good, right? They give you a permanent one. Weapon, head, top, bottom, lit, right? As well as an arcane symbol each time your character level up from level 201 to 220. Uh 201 to 220 level is easier right now. So basically getting your arcane symbols every time you level up is a win, right? So next up, we have the Adventure Island events, right? Um, there are a lot of events during the Adventure Island um, update also. So embark on this expedition to the Adventure Island. Take part in fun mini games such as Maple Runner, One Card, Monster of... What is this? Monster of Poly... Oh! Monopoly, okay. Monster of Poly. I've been playing too many KMS right now. Too much KMS, alright? Ah, okay, Monopoly. Earn extra rewards at certain levels in Step Up. Step Up event is back, everybody. And uh, complete against other Maplers in a PvP style with Return of the Legends, right? Uh, work on your adventure tier to earn more points for completing events as well as increase stats and enhance skills to give you a boost. Temporary stats as you level up your adventure tier. We'll take a look at adventure tier and the coin shop in a moment. The more points you earn, the higher rank you get, the more items you can gain from the coin shop. As always, moving on! Job balance revamps, everybody. There are various jobs are being uh, skill revamps that are being uh, made in this update also. Uh, link in the video description to check a look at all of these updates, right? Basically, there's uh, a lot of them, a lot of them, right? 
and also Kana will be having a special attention as we overhaul many of her skills and additional new ones hell yeah uh those of you guys who already followed my channel you basically know that uh pathfinder uh pathfinder <laughs> hey kana uh i made a kana video kana revamp was uh pretty nice i guess i, I had fun playing the class right to be honest in, in J jms so we can basically look at that in a bit in addition we also adjust the kitchen skills and apply buffs and fix correction of balance take a look at that in a moment System revamps everybody, right? This is where we've been looking forward to Star Force Enhancement Success Rate. So if you are Star Forcing, let 10 stars and below, it will not drop anymore, right? And then from uh from uh 10 to 12 star, the success rate has been increased, everybody. Very nice indeed. Right, and amount of damage from Star Force and Arcane Force power uh, and more. We took a look at it in a moment, also a deep dive to it. Right, and also to ease the progression vows. Oh my god, there's a lot of things over here. We are improving the tutorial and job advancement quests. Yes, yes. Never mind about that. <laughs> okay, most importantly, fifth job advancement got easier and more simplified. You don't have to do Temple of Time quests anymore, everybody. You can directly get the fifth job by just doing the fifth job quest, which is killing just mobs, going into three different, uh, getting a three different stones. That's it. Perfect. Practice mode for all bosses has been added f with a uh, clear limit of one per week, right? Um, that has a clear limit of one per week. So, for example, if you clear the boss uh, today uh, in practice mode, uh, it doesn't count as a clear. It's just, it's just practice mode. So every day you get a five entry that shed throughout all bosses, right? So you can basically practice on the boss, uh, basically to uh, get the boss mechanics, very very nice. Uh, adjustment also being made to uh, defense rate, clear limits and also uh, reward drop rates for some bosses. Yep, take a look at that later also. Next one, we have Secret Forest of Eludin, right? Various team dungeons have been, I won't say revamped, have been basically put into instances, right? You have your own mobs to kill. People in the map kill their own mobs, right? Because each of the team dungeons, right, have been basically scaled according to your character level, level 30 to level 59, right? So this is a new theme dungeon, which is Secret Forest of Elodin. Very nice, right? Players level 30 to 59 have a whole new theme dungeon to explore. What is this mysterious noise emitting from the forest south of Elena? Yeah, it's beside Elena. Head to the secret forest of Elodin to uncover the secrets of the forest, everybody. Meet the new creatures. Oh, this is the first time, I guess. They showcase creatures? Oh, never mind. We're gonna read about that. Including the Night Howler, Dust Bundle, Night Glimmer Fox, and the Blue Spring Sprite. Complete the adventure and then the special medal. Okay, interesting names indeed, right? Right, mm, so I'm in my website over here, xtdaran59.com, everybody. I have all this information over here. The Global Maple Story uh, uh, Adventure Update. Oh, let me go. Let me bring this down. Global Maple Story Adventure Update uh, Content Update Preview, including all this stuff over here. Right, it, it, it's basically in this video. I want to take a look more? Say in the video. And the first update which we cover is the coin shop, of course. So if you want to know more about the coin shop, you can take a look at that in this video. I covered everything in the adventure coin shop area all right so everything so there is total of six tiers over here actually five tiers the first tier is, is basically free so five tiers over here that i basically covered all the items i showcase everything including the damage skins including the chairs oh, where are the chairs though i think uh, i I use the chest. Ah, there we go. Including the chest, including the mouse, everything until the final tier itself. So all you need to know about this adventure update or all the coin shop update is over here in this video. Next up, content organization, new maps, everybody, right? Fifth job has been streamlined, I've already covered that. Right, and Team Dungeon has been reorganized, right? Yes. So uh, Fairy Academia, uh, Golden Beach, Rainer Strain, and also Forest Eldin 
are basically instance uh, team dungeon right now. It scales according to your level between 30 to 59. So if you are a character who are new in the game, you can go to any of this content over here. Basically, you just do te two team dungeons, uh, basically less than 30 minutes, I guess. And you can basically get to level 60. Just like that. It's that fast, everybody. So it is a very, very good change. But those who are power leveling, that won't be a really good change. You can go to other maps, right? But those who are not power leveling, going their own pace, this is a really, really good change. I mean, most of people are not power leveling anyways, right? In the team dungeon, runes, flame wolf, and polo uh, will not spawn. So that is one downside. Runes will not spawn, that means a slower pace of leveling. But in, in a sense that 30 minutes, 60 levels, by just going through contents and quests, that skills according to your level. Quest also skills according to your level, right? So uh, don't worry about that. So it's pretty good. I really like this update, right? New forest, secret forest, Elud. I made a video about this. Uh, uh, basically a, let me tone down the, why, why is it not loading? My God. Okay, so, so, so something over here, right? So this is the secret forest of Elodin over here. Right, it's a very nice map, right? Uh, very nice content. You can basically take a look at it. Uh, I, I showcase the mobs, I showcase the uh, the map, and this last map is beautiful, right? Very, very beautiful indeed. I'm not quite sure is it playing or not. It is playing actually, <laughs> right? The music is playing, but it's very, very nice uh, map over here. You can take a look at that in my website over here, all right? And then there's a Temple of Time it has been reorganized to monsters adjusted to 140, 155. Road of Abilion quest starts. Reduced from 155 to 140. Critias has been reorganized for adjusted mobs over here. Twilight Perion EXP has been increased. Fox Valley hunting overall field structure has been improved. Tested that map, still not that good yet. <laughs> uh, uh, I know that some of you guys will go to those uh, brown tit and white tit map and drop all up and down, right? It's pretty good. But to me, I, I still feel like not really my forte, right? And uh, Road of Vanishing Quest difficulty has been reduced. Uh, by half daily quest changes over here and road of vanishing Urda spectrum party quest this is not uh included over here everybody this is party quest it's one of the best party quests that has ever been added because you can get two road of vanishing icon symbols per run maximum run three days per character everybody uh three days my god three rounds per character i made a full complete party quest guide that you need to know about this all right you can basically watch the whole video i covered everything right i can give you tips and tricks about it system reorganized this is the one that is over here right if you fail uh you if you fail when there's 10 stars the star will not drop uh 10 to 13 star success rate has been increased over here the amount of spell training required to enhance weapon has been uh glove below has been reduced right arcane symbol upgrade cost has been reduced right hyper stats reorganized yes because um, you can acquire new hyperstat skills right now. The max hyperstat is now being up to level 15, right? So this is the points and some hyperstat points will really up over here. Basically, they added a few one, which will be they remove uh, the uh, movement speed, uh, jump, elemental resistance hyperstat. They added weapon attack, magic attack, bonus EXP, and also arcane force, everybody. So very nice indeed. Alright, hyper stats has been as better uh, with this, right? Others is L15. Very nice. Boss reorganization added practice mode for all uh, basically uh, weekly bosses, right? Or hard mode bosses. Very nice indeed. And also, boss crystal prices for weekly bosses has been increased, right? So, look at all these bosses has been increased over here. Battle patterns for Ping Bean has been changed. You can basically take a look at this video. Basically, Ping Bean right now will basically spawn all of the statues in one go, right? It doesn't matter normal or, or, or hard mode, right? It spawns all in one go and it will not resurrect anymore. And the body is just four bodies only, if I'm not mistaken. Four or three bodies, right, for, for the Ping Bean. So all is being, being basically up over here. So very nice. And Hila is now basically uh, one week clear. It's a weekly boss right now. Star Force and Arcane Force damage collaboration changes, right? Star Force is now uh, work as also Arcane Force. You can basically get ex uh, extra damage percentage ratio. Very nice, right? Arcane Force also, they have also a damage ratio being uh, changed over here, right? The output itself. 
uh, they will basically specify over here if you don't know how to calculate it hover up to the star force or arcane force uh ui or user interface up here it will show you what is up here so don't have to worry about it maple union improvement so now you you have your, all your coins inside your inventory right it, it hogs up all your all your inventory slots but right now they are going to combine unify into a system which showcase all your items over here so all your coins over here will be showcased you it will no longer be in your inventory that's good and bad because in, in kms the test server we can't basically port over the coins over to the test server because it's a different environment but since you guys don't have a test server it doesn't matter <laughs> so yeah and they give you two uh, uh two free preset slots so it's very nice one you can put all to exp one you can put all to boss damage it's up to you very nice indeed uh yeah blocks now overlap will display very nice uh, user experience uh, over there and singapore and malaysian my reorganization this is only for maple c right now uh i made a video about this uh, i'm not quite sure maybe whether gms we're gonna get this update uh, i made a tour video about singapore and malaysia over here showcasing all the uh, new basically new contents and uh, new levels and also there is a, basically a new content up here yeah, this is basically a new content. I'm not quite sure what is it yet. We don't know yet. And also the bosses has also been changed. Um, you can take a look at that over here. Uh, new maps, right? Very nice um, Singapore and Malaysia maps over here. Uh, and also, uh, I think GMS already got this map. Now we only have this revamp map. Then we also have Kana revamp everybody so kana is being revamped at this moment so uh, uh if you guys know that uh i made videos about the, the the kana's revamp itself right uh have a look at it right take a look at how kana skills changes right kitchen changes kitchen is actually yeah not much changes to it so it's still pretty good right now like, compared to kate because we don't have kitchen so it's pretty nice changes right a lot of good changes over here hayato don't really have much changes right uh, first job to fifth fourth job skill fifth job no changes for kana first job to fourth job skill uh changes i showcase everything in this video all right uh take a look at it on my channel or in this um, um website itself right uh links in the video description as always very very strong kana is basically a very good mobile right now i'm not sure about bossing but yeah mobbing is pretty good and also pathfinder as always the new job all right the new pathfinder is now available in uh, your server right whoa, 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 whoa. english english okay now a new pathfinder is available in your server right take a look at the new map pathum right uh first job to fifth job skill showcase everybody let me pause this first job to fish fifth job skill showcase right everything is all over here you want to learn more about how uh, this pathfinder skill works right before you play the class because it's very important to know the skill first before you play the class so all you need to know about this pathfinder skills all over here all the way up to fifth job and this is the newest version because there are two versions one is the test server version and this is the official server version so this this is also in test server but it's the official te uh, version itself compared to uh, the other one so yeah and then um take a look at this over here and also here i know there are a lot of things uh i basically made this uh, basically same content from uh maple c right this is maple c data over here 100 percent the same you can read more about it in, in, in right here over here right the skills and stuff then we also have level 251 pathfinder exp and mobbing training at the most famous maps in arcane river so you don't know whether you want to main a class yet right but you want to see how does the class perform in terms of mobbing i don't have a bossing video sorry to say i'm not going to do pre-quest in the test server it's going to be hell <laughs> so yeah i think there's a lot of videos online already right now for kms players that basically did a lot of bossing videos so um i did showcase a few maps the, the clock tower um the lower path um the uh, spider mirror map uh, mirror map over here and also finally the moon bridge i did all of the comparison i did a showcase of my items and also my stats right in the uh, test server environment all right showcase over here if you want to know how to grind your pathfinder very simple just follow this all the way right it, it, it works as i grind all the way over here right every path over here just can just follow it 
those who are wanting to know about the DPM chart, everybody. DPM chart is up here, right? Not gonna play it. <laughs> DPM chart is up here. Take a look at it, see where your class uh, is at, but don't really follow this 100% because this is a KMS DPM chart. It's different in, with, with GMS because GMS attack speed is different, right? But you can still basically know it. Squad update. This will be, I think, coming in July 21st, right? I did not really cover most of this content over here because I, I, at, at this moment of time, squad update, I was really not keen to basically do this content. Uh, it's a pretty nice content, but in a sense, it is it kind of lack of rewards so, yeah da -da! no 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 that's done okay so immortal gorgon right uh basically it, it is an event based considered battle with gorgons it is a never-ending battle so it depends on how strong your character is and basically gets up the rank so you basically can swap between five characters uh and that's it that's basically it. So, uh, and also skill balancing and recover it. Uh, what else? Okay, they, di they didn't even show the ancient runes of Patum. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even make a video about the ancient rune of Patum. So, ancient rune of Patum is actually a new uh, team dungeon <laughs> for level 135 and above, right? So. I didn't even do, do, do that content in KMS yet, so I am basically maybe I'm I'm going to GMS and basically explore this. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let's see how it goes. It's this page is still uh, unwritten yet, right? Finally, <laughs> we have come to the end of the adventure update. Thank you, boxes, everybody. Look at all of these items over here, right? You guys might have more items. You guys may have less items. I'm pretty sure you guys might have more items, right? Even the pre-registration update, you guys have so many items already compared to KMS. So, uh, in terms of the items, I will be showcasing the thank you boxes, right? I'm clapping over here like an idiot, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, so a lot of items over here showcasing, uh, opening all the boxes, taking a look at all of the items over here. You want to take a look at what items do you get at which stage of your adventure tier. That's why I ask you to rank up your adventure tier, right? So once you rank up your adventure tier over here at the coin shop over here, you can see small thing over here, right? That means you'll be able to get uh, different boxes at the end of the adventure event. They'll give you thank you boxes, right? Very nice indeed. That's all for the adventure update. I think I cover everything. Woo, that was long. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's about it, everybody, right? Um, this is the Maple Story, Global Maple Story Pathfinder, or you can call it the adventure update. Not quite sure. Uh, as I mentioned, not quite sure which name we're going to call it, but we're going to still call it the adventure update for now. A lot of contents, uh, a lot of events uh, during this summer update. Very, very, uh, very, very nice. And I hope you guys look forward to more videos coming in in KMS Summer Update, which will be releasing its information soon, right? Soon as in real soon. June 15, everybody. Stay tuned, right? So, yeah, I think I've covered all the updates uh, on the adventure update. If you want more information, Links in the video description. If you want more information, you can ask me on Discord, right? Uh, and I have all the information in my Discord server. If you guys want to take a look at it, I will basically show you right now. Just a quick showcase, right? Um, let's see if the display capture works. Uh, does it work? Okay, that works. Okay, it works. So basically, I have uh, this is my my Discord server, right? I have various events, uh, no, yes, yes. various update contents over here. We have the adventure update. I don't know whether I can pull it longer or not. No, it doesn't. Okay, I have the adventure update information over here, right? Max has all the patch notes over here. You can take a look at all of the patch notes, detailed patch notes by Max. Okay, and um, basically teasers, content update previews, um, coin showcase, uh, what are the coins required. Uh, this is from Max blog, of course, and also animation videos, uh, 
first job, fifth job, skill showcase, everything over here. I'll be updating more of that in the upcoming uh, content when it basically uh, gradually release from GMS and also other servers. So you guys can basically take a look at that, join my Discord server, links in the video description, and uh, current updates which will be uh, KMS will be a 60th anniversary and upcoming one, not quite sure yet, right? So everything will be up here if you guys want to know more. So uh, as always, any, any updates, I will have a bot basically showcasing all these updates so you guys don't have to worry about it, right? So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next updates right in the next kms update i will be uploading more videos soon right pathfinder is releasing soon in a maple c stay tuned for that also right thank you very much for tuning in everybody i'll catch you guys in the next video leave a thumbs up subscribe and stay awesome everybody bye bye